You know, literally hours before recording this recipe, my mind was blown when I had my first white hot chocolate from Starbucks. If you love the Starbucks white hot chocolate, you're gonna love this even more. Let's get to this recipe. And yes, you'll find the full written recipe with instructions and ingredients in the comment section down below, plus anything else that you might need to get yourself prepared. So we'll start by adding in some milk in a pot and then bring that up to a gentle simmer. I'm using 2% milk over here and as it's coming to a simmer, you wanna make sure you keep stirring from time to time to really prevent it from burning. Now one thing to know about me, which some of you might already know, is that I get into phases. I really get into, let's say, burgers and I do burgers all week long. I get into pizzas, pastas, whatnot. Right now I'm into recreating my favorite drinks, be it Starbucks, Tim Hortons, or any other local coffee or cold beverage or hot beverage that I've enjoyed lately. It's been really fun to enjoy making these at home and just comparing and seeing if it's really better than the drinks that I've had. And just for the record, I only put up those recipes which I find to be better than the restaurant or coffee shop counterparts. And here's the milk after a couple of minutes and you can see it's steaming, has some bubble on the side and this is a great time to talk about some chocolate. So here's the chocolate that I'm using. This is easily found at my grocery stores. It's lint. You know it's quality when it's lint. So I'm going to use about half of this beautiful looking chocolate bar in my hot chocolate. Now to help incorporate it and let the chocolate melt in the best way possible, the quickest way possible, you want to break it down into smaller pieces and then just let that milk stay on low heat just to keep that temperature and that would be enough to not overheat the chocolate which would end up splitting it and be perfect to melt it. It should only take maximum a minute or two. A quick whisk does the trick and you'll feel it when the chocolate has completely molten down. Next, add in some vanilla extract and you could also substitute this with vanilla bean paste if you have that on hand. Another quick whisk just to combine the vanilla in and now it's a great time to taste it and see, do you want it to be sweeter or is this just enough for you? Do you taste the chocolatiness? Do you wanna add more chocolate? taste it and once you're happy with it add in a bit of cream that's going to help thicken it make it creamier because after all this is supposed to be a decadent winter delight i just can't get over how good this smells along with those freshly baked cookies so if you want to know what the next thing is what's the next thing that i'm hooked into what's the next drink that i might do then check out my instagram you might see me doing a story or two about the next upcoming video and of course I take requests. Back to the video, it's time to pour in our cups of hot chocolate and then top them off with some mini marshmallows. Of course you can choose your own topping but with these guys you know what I'll be doing next. I'll be torching it just to get a bit of browning on it just to get it enough heat so that it can melt and become all nice and gooey. This is so much fun to use, but please be safe if you are using one. Now you can stop with the marshmallows, but I'm gonna add in some pecans and I'm gonna grate it super fine with a microplane. Pecans are sweet and have a buttery flavor, just adds a nice aroma to the drink as well. And then finally, just a fine shaving of the white chocolate as well. Now comment down below if you are a white chocolate lover. Usually I love my dark chocolate. So it was pretty eye-opening for me to really see what white chocolate can be used for because I usually just am biased towards, you know, the semi-sweet or dark chocolate variations. I think the beauty of this drink is how simple it is and how now, I have no white complaints chocolate and it's just so great. And my cookie with the molten marshmallows Mm, too good. Now clearly this drink does not contain any caffeine, but my next plan video would be a hot chocolate mocha. 
And if you don't want to miss out on that and possibly make that part of your daily routine, then be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss when that video drops. You can check out the full recipes of all the stuffed Levain cookies that I've made in the link down below. And if you want any more hot drinks, then check out this hot drinks playlist. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.